You're listening to Kebama Web Radio and you're tuned into the vibes of DJ Simba. With me once again is Mr. Alex with Points of Clarity. Welcome, Mr. Alex. Uh, welcome back on Kebama Web Radio. As we promised, here we are back today with, you know, the follow-up on our mind game. Like, basically, it's the game of knowledge. And as we all know, you know, embrace knowledge and knowledge will set you free. So today we'll be talking about the, the story, the, the story being told and the power that can be driven behind that story. So what we want you guys to notice today is the whole civilization as we know it, our lives, our cultures, our house, the surf is nothing else than the is nothing else than the product of the story being told. The way we look at things, the way we look at people, the way we feel about things, the way we feel about people, uh, most of it is is being nourished by that story, and the story is like in every level. We have the story that we tell to oneself. We have the story being told into the family. We have the story being told into the community. And we have the story being told into a country and even beyond the country level. So it is of the greatest importance to be aware of the story being told. The story that is being told is shaping our person, our family, our community, as I said before, our country, our culture, and our entire civilization. What's the story that has been told in our family? What's the story that you tell to oneself today? The story itself is not bearing any powers if we look at it properly. But what the story nourish is the most powerful character into our dimension. And that is belief. Belief is the driving force behind any story. Jesus once said that everything is possible when you believe. When a story reaches the point of belief, things start moving. And by things moving, I mean uh, the way we behave, the way we react, the, 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 our judgment, and so on. That's why being aware of the story being told by oneself, by the media, by the community, by the politics, and so on, is important in order to live the life that you choose to live for yourself than becoming part of the pact of the pack of those who are programmed. Yeah, basically programmed because most of the people out there who want it or not are kind of like programmed. They just live that life based on a story. They just live a life based on what they believe being the truth. They just even decide to feel in like to put the surf in a place where they feel bad or they feel happy all this based on 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 a story you know and there are many things that we use out there to to just have that story moving you know we we have the politics we have the religion we we have the the secret societies we have communities, we have little groups, you know, and, and we have our personal belief. And now I want to mention something here uh, is having all those groups, having all those like secret societies, religion, politics. I am not saying that this is something bad because it's, it's not bad and it's neither good the the most important is what you do with it the most important is how 
you let it impact your life or how it is impacting the life of the group. But by being aware that uh, the story that we are actually telling is impacting our lives and is impacting the life of the community, I think that from that point, we will basically try our best to to tell a better story, to tell a story from from a place uh, from a place of clarity. Now, what I mean telling a story from a place of clarity is us telling that story, which is uh, one of justice, one of love, one one of compassion. And therefore, we are going to produce that type of war. But if we keep telling the story of competition, the the story of good and bad, the story of beautiful and ugly, the story of bullying, the, and and so on, then we keep on producing the same the same type of society. And so my point today is not really like to just try to impact the society i want to really focus on the personal level like how is your life today what is the story that you you tell to yourself you know what is that story that you tell to to oneself what do you think about yourself what do you think about your family what do you think about your friends so what do what do you think about other people what do you think about the white one the black one the hispanic the the asian you know now it looks like it looks like nothing because most of the time we we don't stop to try to be aware of how we think you know or uh, we don't stop to try to be aware of that inner conversation but at the moment you start doing it you know just play like a game at the moment you start doing it at the moment you start being aware of that story you will be amazed how good you can feel because you know what you will then be aware that what you said to yourself what you keep having as an inner conversation what you keep telling to your children to your friends is actually shaping who you are is actually shaping every of your reaction and and it's making you being part of something that somehow maybe you are not totally proud of you know but if you are telling that story who who is producing that life that you like then keep on telling the story but if your life is not where you want it to be if 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 your feelings are not where you want them to be then pretty simple change the story change the story but the best way to change the story is by starting to be aware of the the story being told so that's a little you gotta chew on uh for now and we'll be right back after the break you're listening to kibama web radio and you're tuned into the vibes of dj simba that was mr alex once again with the points of clarity straight from his book we're having a short break right now we'll leave you with the next song jbs eugene feat ross tamale aliba ani one of the best new uganda songs Bless. Alibani ali kundesa, alibani, alibani oyo, kubela kwe kwendota, kwe kwendota, nema kwe mfira. Sagala <laughs> 
Chikeri chomu kwa no chendi munse na we Chitu tuwa la buzi veyo kwe 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 Habe mi ma habo keza valo keze wa chabu site wa tusanga wano Oh 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 Alivana li kundesa Alivani Alivani mogo Kumela kwe kwendota Kwe kwendota Ela kwe mfira Na ye Alivawa li kundesa Alivawa Alivawa leyo Banga kwe kwendota Kwe kwendota Ela kwe mfira Kwe zinga Katenevi wawa Nandi kuse bebi ne kusange Banga katenevi dote bibi Kaba kutuwa la kubande ke lonli Mubidi na genda na gomuti makusule yo Moyo kusule yo no wongo wongye yo Kasa kate spele Tolyo mwa singa thanks for your love And I'm yours baby you're mine It's gonna be fine don't you worry So feel comfortable I'll be a thy level When you do love call me name 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 Alivan ali kundesa Alivan ni Alivan ni oyo Kumela kwe kwendota Kwe kwendota Ela kwe mfira Nange alivawa ni kundesa Alivawa Alivawa eyo Kupanga kwe kwendota Kwe kwendota Ela kwe mfira Kolwomu kono wali fe kumandi yambara ne bumbi tumu se se kumandi risula mulungi kala la katika kavala jawani de muda teri ba kusinga ne kwe mulungi kala la kali batanya ate kwe nani giri zomba giri zomku giri zomku ano watori ne kumbi nani e kabaka butuli kaka bara kali bere kwe rule ni ne kundi kutere kero mukwano kali ni tuboze ya na masolendi kuko wola ne wali bere kwe ya ne bune. Sukwe siku dakare keri jetu kenda kumuta logo kufunuka Ndiku chuza munimira ya mkwano ne kuno gere pirivu mkoko sentu tunukale Kakuwe kufani kuwele kene magombe ne tuza nyate pela ni kukwe kula Sli, bebe nju, kuno mkwano tunachia Alivana li kundesa, alivani, alivani oyo Kubela kwe kwendota, kwe kwendota, ena kwe mfira Nange, alivawa li kundesa, alivawa, alivawa eyo Banga kwe kwendota, kwe kwendota, ena kwe mfira Yeah, that was my man JBS Eugene from Helsinki Fit Rose Temale Alibani. Welcome back to Kebama Web Radio. You're tuned in to the vibes of DJ Simba. Mr. Alex, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back on Kebama Web Radio. So back to our points of clarity. Like uh now let us just look at a very very obvious thing going on into our society today for example when we talk about modeling when we talk about fashion when we talk about beauty you know like look at the way we dress today the way we dress up today think about it like just like how was it 100 years ago how was it 200 years ago how was it 500 years ago how was it a thousand years ago but today we will all come to to the we will all agree that when we look at the way we dress, some people even feel uncomfortable when they look at somebody else, you know, like when they just see them dress, they just start feeling actually bad or they start like, you know, having the type of inner conversation going on, asking themselves like, you know, where do they come from? Like, what's wrong with them? You know, they shouldn't be dressing that way, you know. But this is just to show something that is going on and how much belief is is powerful, you know. Like the, the way the ladies are dressing today, today, you know, they, they go easily with the pants. But back then, like on, I can push back like a hundred years ago, it was not, it was not a common thing, you know. And it was for certain type of people it was actually something you know really bad something not right you know but and what is 
behind all that is just it's just a story as as we said at the beginning of our show it's just a story being told now when we get into that world of of beauty uh, today we have you know shows uh magazines who will tell you oh, this is the most beautiful woman in the world is here then the same woman next year for some reason is not even close among the, 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 the most beautiful ones. But that's not the point. What I'm trying to say here is who define beauty, what define beauty. You know, and you realize that is is just a story being told. You know, and because of the story being told, the belief is kicking it. Is the belief is kicking in and we react and we act just like it was something real you know just like it's it's the pure true but we when you think about it we all know that it's far like really far from being the true because n- nobody can really define beauty in the point where uh there is nothing we can like uh, use to decide if somebody is beautiful or not beside our own beliefs beside our own story that we tell because the one who might be really beautiful or the most beautiful woman in the eyes of the western culture for example might not be that beautiful for you know for the eyes of that african you know that's just an example you know not that i want to to discriminate it's just i'm trying to make a point here so basically that's how we live our lives and it's really important to just be who you are and to understand that the life that you have is all that is and is is the only reality basically and that no matter what you can be happy you can you can be successful you can be healthy you know you can be joyful if you come to this very simple understanding that everything is just based on a story being told you know tell yourself a better story you know look at the the stories that are out there try to be aware of them you know if there is a story out there who who is in sync with you then you go with it but if it's not in sync with you then you know just choose just choose a better one just choose a better one so the i'm saying all this so that the we can all at a certain point you know reach that place where we are ourselves reach that place where we are happy with who we are with what we have and where we are actually becoming aware of our own success because again what is defining success today into into our society if not a story you know they will tell you or they will we have or they believe in that success is about how much money we have for example or how many things that we have achieved you know but at the end of the day the truth is it, it does not matter it does not matter what's the story that we tell out there but what really matter here is what is the story you tell to yourself is that story in sync with you is that story in sync with your soul you know if the story is in sync with your soul i can guarantee you that happiness is yours if the story is in sync with your soul i can guarantee you that joy is yours and when happiness is yours when joy is yours you definitely hurt it you know so uh from our point of clarity today the story being told all we really have to do out there guys is to be be aware just try to be aware it looks like nothing but play it as a game start to just be aware of the story being told you know be aware of of the news be aware of the politics be be aware of the religion be aware even on 
of your personal story you know the story that you tell to yourself then from that point you will start noticing what works for you and what is not working for you you will start noticing what type of reaction is being produced by what type of story and from that point which is a point of clarity you know you will start making better choices you will start uh choosing to go with this story or to just push delete you know you will start choosing to to spend more time and put emotions behind the ones that are completely in sync with your with your own soul but for sure that at the moment you start being aware of the story the more you will be aware of the stories the more you will be in charge of your own life and the more you will actually live your life and be who you are and be happy with it so thank you for for being here today thank you for listening and one once more this is k by my way bridge and we'll be back with some more point of clarities because we have I could say we have millions of them out there, you know. So for the next time, we will try to cover something that is, you know, going more with the personal well-being, you know, the the, the mental well-being, the physical well-being. Uh, we will be talking this time about beliefs and and thoughts, beliefs and thoughts. So stay tuned on K Bama Wave Radio. And remember, we'll be on every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. And any every of those days, we'll be having a replay um, at 12, again, 12 a.m., meaning midnight. So it was a pleasure to be with you guys today. And we can't wait until our next session. Thank you so much for listening. You're listening to Kibama Web Radio and you're tuning into the vibes of DJ Simba. And thank you once more, Mr. Alex. Remember to catch us up every Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturday at 6 p.m. finish time. And we're going to be repeating it every Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturday at midnight. That is 12 finish time. We leave you with the same song. JBS Eugene Fit Rosp Mali Alibani. Alibani, Alibani, oh yo, Kubela que cuando está, se cuando está, me va a cuestionar. Nange, Alibawa, Alikundesa, Alibawa, Alibawa, eh yo, Kubanga que cuando está, que cuando está, me va a cuestionar. To be a mitala, or mana when the galan menger and the bati wala, or you see womu, was a go yo ya vika, tabanga bamu twala yanga bela pude, makala kufa mu yitali so yanga go mulunji kala, lomana kabiri na ki wange, hi ya many young baby sweet wange, ye banka yang mu tima kwange, sagala mu pata kamu tula kamu kamba kamu soka po umana kagala makalo mu kwano kwana madala, chikeri jomu kwano chendi munze na we Tu dois la vous dire que tu es un peu de temps. 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 When you do love, call me name, 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 name. Alibana, alikundesa, 
Alibani, Alibani, oh yo. Kubela kwe kwendota, se kwendota, ela kwe kwira. Kwe kwe ndota, kwe kwe ndota, era kwe fira 